Hey, hey friends, friends. Welcome, welcome to a new vlog. In this video, we're gonna be taking you to a beautiful island called Corregidor. Or if you're an ignorant foreigner like me, you may call it Corregidor. Anyway, this place is amazing. It's very close to the island of Shargao, where we've been staying for the past two weeks. So in this video, we wanna bring you to Corregidor and show you how to get there, give you some travel tips and all that fun stuff. So, are you ready? to Corridor Island and we're being told that we need to pay for a guide to hike which we want to do we want to go explore this island and they said we're not allowed to do it without a guide it's, it's kind of like your foreigner dues I don't think you really we're not gonna get lost or anything but that's just their way of supporting the locals so it's 300 pesos for a guide so we could split that between nine people so it's really not too expensive Oh, this is cool. This grass is so fine. It's really nice. I wanna, I wanna touch it with my face. Oh, that's some nice grass. Oh yeah. That's some golf course quality grass right there. Okay, the grass isn't that soft. My face is a little rough and cut up now. <laughs> Check it out. You can go camping here. You can get a tent for 350 pesos. For not just half the night, but the whole night. Huh. Oh. All right, there's even a little town in here. There's a party going on. It's someone's birthday. Can we go party with them? Please go play on your Hello. Hello. This is cool. Now we're walking through the local community here. It's a small little village. People are very nice. There's even a party going on back there. All the kids are saying hi, waving. Everyone's very friendly. Hi. And of course, no Filipino village would be complete without a basketball court. They even have a little sorry sorry store so you can buy some supplies if you need to. Yes. Yes. Aw, thank you, Steven. Hey, Pam, I got you a shade. Thank you. Can you hold it for me yeah. while I walk? Thank you. I appreciate right, that. Bye. Appreciate you. <laughs> now we're on the opposite side of the island. I think we just left the village. Now we're gonna be hiking through more of the nature areas. This beach. Beautiful, there's no one here. This is really nice. As you guys can see, the landscape here is beautiful. I just can't get over these tall grasses, even if they're very, very sharp, right? <laughs> like, very, very sharp. I got red marks. They look beautiful, but they don't feel beautiful. <laughs> no. So fun fact for you guys, if you see carabao or, or cow poop anywhere, uh, chances are there might be some fun guys growing out of it. Oh gosh. <laughs> we have right here, as you can see, some mushrooms. And I'm pretty sure these are the type of mushrooms that would make your day very silly. <laughs> these are called yeah. magic mushrooms right here. Which are illegal. How would you know that, Stephen? I just know because of science. Yes, science! It's true though. This right here is a psilocybin mushroom. Wow. And that is what people will eat mm -hmm. if they want to have a trippy time. Whoa. Trip, 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 trip. But I don't know much about the. It is also very dangerous. I would not recommend yeah. going out to pick your own because chances are, if they're not in the right condition, they can kill you. So yeah. I wouldn't recommend just picking them out of cow, but that's how they grow. They just grow from cow poop. Wow, science. Learn something new every day. <laughs> Thank you, Steve, for your daily dose of education. Wow, guys, this is amazing. We just made it to the top here on one of the most, what direction is this? Southeast, west, I don't know. All of the other boat tours, they go to the other three islands, Naked Island, Daku Island, and Guyam, and you can see them. They're not far away, but for just like an extra 20 minute boat ride, you can come to this island. It's just so much cooler. So much nicer. That is Daku, that is Naked, 
And over there is Guyam. Alright guys, we're gonna meet our friends at the top of the hill and we might even have a little drone flight. You ready, Steven? Are you ready to fly? Yep. I'm ready. Let's, Let's go. go. Pema made me put on her skirt and frolic through the meadow. So we're gonna put a pole right there. Who do you think? It wasn't that hard to convince him to do it. <laughs> Who do you think did it better? Was it Pema or was it Steve? Mm. All right. For now, we're gonna hike back to town because our friends have already been gone for like an hour and a half, and we've just been hanging out around here, relaxing, maxing all cool, and shooting some photos out by these palm trees. <laughs> but now I'm. I'm getting really hungry, so you know what time it is. Yeah, let's go. Hello, hello. Oh, that's for Pema. Here. Oh. We just stopped in town. We saw these nice guys right here. Hey. It's a party. Birthday. Whose birthday is it? Someone's birthday. All right, all right. Cheers. Hey! <laughs> oh, we got some more. Cheers. I love this town. Friendly people everywhere. <laughs> Birthday party going on, taking some shots. Yeah. Very cool. Alright, so we're about to head out of here soon, but just figured I'd talk about some tips for you if you're interested. We brought our own food here from the local market at the dock in Chargao. But it seems like you can order food here, which I think is a new thing because people were telling me how you should bring your own food, but now this resort is here and you can order food from this restaurant. They have drinks available. You can even do things like rent paddle boards and snorkeling gear. Um, and the hike that we went on, we had to get a tour guide that wouldn't just let us go alone. Uh, so that's 300 pesos. And there's also a fee for just docking here, just leaving the boat. That's another 100 pesos just some small fees for the locals to make money. It's really not too much out of your pocket, but you know, it helps support the locals here. So I'm all about that. One more cost, the boat. So we rented the boat from Vivian, who's the owner of Moonlight Homestay. That's where we were staying. Since we had nine people, it came out to about 4,000 pesos. Cause I think it was 3,500 pesos up to seven people. And then per person on top of that, it was 250 pesos. So it came out to 4,000 pesos. So pretty good deal for a private boat for the whole day. You split that cost among a big group and that brings the price down. So it's definitely worth it. And there's no one else here, which is really weird. It's amazing. This is so beautiful. It's not far away at all. It took maybe 30, maybe 40 minutes to get here from Chargao and there's no one here. But I don't, I, I kind of feel like that's not going to stay like this because this is, I think it's growing in popularity like I don't think this I think this resort is new I don't think this is always here so now that there's more accommodation and, and things to do in this island will probably attract more people here so if you want to come here I would suggest doing it sooner rather than later before this gets overrun with tourists I'll definitely be coming back here if I visit Chargao again and comparing this would be pretty cool I hope this stays nice and quiet because it's it's a nice getaway from Chargao. But for now we're gonna head back on the boat. We're gonna head back to Chargao. So we'll see you back in the mainland. Boom! We just made it back to the mainland and we quickly rode over to this pier and the sun is going down now so it is time to try to get a nice time lapse. Hopefully this comes out nice.
Alright guys, that brings us to the end of this vlog. I hope you enjoyed coming to Corridor... Corridor? Corridor? Corridor. I'll say it. Corridor Island. <laughs> it's a beautiful place. If you want some more info about how you can book a tour through Moonlight, I'll leave a link in the description so you can get in touch with Vivian. But for now, we are going to go explore. It's actually the next day already. I forgot to film an outro yesterday. Uh, we're going to go explore a really cool spot in the northern part of this island. Uh, so we'll bring you there in the next vlog. So if you're not already, go ahead and click that subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. And leave a comment. Let me know what you thought. All right. We'll see you in the next vlog. Peace. Peace.